Hi everybody, Brian Balrick, Production Manager at Roland DGA in Irvine, California. And I'm here to answer another question from the field. And today it deals with the clipping um, aspect of the Roland VersaWork 6 rip. So right away we can see we've got VersaWork 6 loaded. Uh, I've got a job already in the queue. So let's go ahead and double click that one to get the job properties open, the job setting. And you'll see uh, this particular job has actually a little bit of white space around it. Now, that could be on purpose. You may need that to create a border. Maybe this is going to be mounted to a board, and then you're going to use that as the final boundary that you're going to cut to. But on the off chance that that is not necessary, and they just want the logo, and you can conserve some material, I'm going to show you real quick. So looking at our controls on the left hand column and moving all the way down you're going to see one that's a gray box that's uh, dotted on the outside that's your clipping tool and tiling so a uh, clipping uh, job for this one is done very simply even without selecting anything you can see already that we've got a red bounding box and some red anchors at the corners and the midpoints so I'm going to grab that corner anchor and click and drag it into the uh, design a little bit closer and you can see I've gotten a lot closer to the logo itself. I'm going to do the same thing at this bottom right corner. I'm going to drag it up until I'm close to that lower gray section and close to that circle R of the Roland logo and that looks about equidistant all the way around for the most part. So I'll let go and now we'll go back to the media settings where we get a new updated preview and you can see we've basically clipped that white space out and it's good to go and the, the new active area is that new uh, slightly decreased size bounding area around the artwork so you've saved some material and you've made that your active area and it continues from there you know you can see if i do fit to media size it takes that and grows it but again it respects the new bounding area that you've set so that truly is your new work area that you've set for this job so good success there but here's a second little aspect that some people might use in their day-to-day -day work so i get this request quite often where i'll get this design and it's actually made up of two elements and then all of a sudden you'll get stop the presses coming down the the, the a message center and they say don't run it yet we've decided we want the roland logo to be a 200 percent scale um, do we need to redesign and very simply you don't have to so I'm going to show you how to break this job into two jobs using the clipping. So we'll go down to clipping again. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that right hand anchor on the side and I'm going to drag it right till it's equidistant on this uh, singular logo. And I'll go back to preview and there you go. I've completely eliminated the Roland logo from this job. Now the next part. So I'm going to say OK. And then when it updates here, I'm going to take this job, make sure it's selected, and I'm going to click on the center icon at the bottom, which is the save. So very simply what this does, and I'm going to indicate that I want it saved on my desktop. I'm not going to create a new name for it, I'm just going to say save. And you'll see right away, right there on my desktop, a new file has opened up, or been created, and it's ready to go. So I'm going to very simply take that, I'm going to drag it back into my queue. So what that is, is that is a, a representation of that job. Everything about it, where the file's located, what scaling, what cropping, clipping, everything related to that job has been saved into a data file. I can drag that file back in and guess what? It's the same file. And now you can see I actually have the same design duplicated on the screen. I have two copies. But I can take that second copy, open it up, go into the clipping tool again, and you guessed it. I'm now going to take this uh, anchor. I'm going to drag it all the way to the right, or let's say just to the right of the logo. And I'm going to do the same on the left one and drag it in. I'm going to drag this top bar down. And basically, we're again, we're, we're going to clip this artwork down to just the Roland logo. And we'll say, you know, that's about it. And the beautiful part is now it's a singular object. And I can say, OK, scale is 200%. And there we have it. Now, best part of all, I'll say OK on this one. Now we've got the first design you can see is previewed here is the top workplace portion. And then below it is this 200% scale Roland logo. I can now window in. So click and drag, creating a bounding box over the two jobs. 
and at the very bottom I can now click on nest. You'll see that icon at the very bottom in the center of the BursaWorks window. If I click on that, it's bound the two jobs into a singular job where the top workplace logo has already been rotated to conserve media. And the second part is that Roland logo at 200% scale. So you've successfully taken a singular job. You haven't had to edit it. You haven't had to gone back to the requester and, and had them redesign it. You simply broke it into two new jobs and treated them independently. Well, I hope this has been helpful and you find a use for this in your workflow. And I look forward to seeing you again in another video in the future. Thank you.